An early start on Mahachkala's city beach. Shamil Aliyev leads these exercises around once a week at 6 a.m. Aliyev is a religious Muslim and the main coordinator for Sober Russia, a Russia-wide organization that fights against alcoholism and for a healthier lifestyle. Vladimir Putin has publicly expressed support for the project several times. A healthy lifestyle teaches people to live right. They learn what's good and what's bad. Vladimir Putin champions a healthy lifestyle because he wants Russia to be healthy, robust and strong. Shamil Aliyev is in charge of 5,000 sober Russia volunteers across Dagestan. Now they're helping with the Duma campaign of Putin's United Russia Party. Aliyev seems to enjoy the fact that the younger activists look up to him. The 33-year-old is a candidate for the regional parliament. It's the first time he's running. He knew right away which party he wanted to represent. Aliyev is convinced that in Dagestan, only the ruling majority party can ensure development and stability. That is Vladimir Putin's greatest achievement. I'm very grateful to him for that. Of course, the party also played a key role. Stability is a central issue in Dagestan, one of Russia's poorest regions. Not long ago, the Muslim-majority republic was considered a dangerous place. In the 1990s, separatists fought a war here and in neighboring Chechnya. In recent years, there have been fears about the increasing radicalization of young Muslims. There are people who say things aren't good. But we have to remind people how things used to be without United Russia. Just 10 years ago, the situation was very unstable. Extremist or terrorist incidents occurred almost every day. You might leave your house to go to work, and there could be an explosion right next door. Shamil Aliyev says things have changed thanks to the ruling party. In past Duma elections, United Russia consistently received more than 80 percent of the votes in Dagestan, but surveys show the party's ratings have taken a serious hit across the country. In Dagestan's capital, Mahachkala, criticism is mounting. For 15 years we've seen the same thing on TV, the same faces. Nothing has changed. Our roads are in bad repair, just like they've always been. The quality of living is poor, education is bad. No one votes here, everyone just stays at home. We already know who's going to win. They decide for us anyway. Opposition activist Eduard Atayev is also convinced that United Russia's majority is due to voter fraud and the intimidation of critical voices. Just a few months ago, he tried to open a regional office for the opposition politician Alexei Navalny. He was jailed for supposedly defying police orders. I had suspected the authorities would come to the office as soon as it opened and that we might face police searches. But after the opening, I didn't even manage to go home. Three or four hours after I opened the office, I was already arrested. Pressure on Kremlin critics has been on the rise across Russia. Independent candidates are hardly featured on campaign advertising. Most weren't registered. Some even had to leave the country. Shamil Aliyev says that's an exaggeration, and the opposition is all talk. He insists he wants to take action to improve things in Dagestan. His young daughters and his wife Chakar are part of what motivates him. We need to try to preserve what we have, our values, and we need to lead the way for the younger generation. I have the opportunity, the strength and the energy to do that. If you want to change something, you need to take action and make a change, rather than waiting for some savior to fly down from space and do it for you. A healthy Russia starts with a healthy body. That's Shamil Aliyev's motto. He wants this morning routine to create a sense of community, a community that is willing to fight and to vote to keep the election results of Putin's united Russia strong.